My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American dream was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run and shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. And put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily, but we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the fate. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, no, eh? per favore, no. no. All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? Fatti morti! On me! Get up here! Shit! I'm Fuck out! I'm dead! Shit! Come on! Oh. 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 Watch it! We've got a grenade, Scaletta. This could be a 
great fucking time to use it! Put a grenade to the window! Stiletto, what are you, dead? Awesome! Galetta, are you alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move it. Whoa, oh. Look. On the stairs! Grease <laughs> ball! Okay! <laughs> Have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Uchi de Yosati! Doors going out of Kick it in. Oh, you fight your saltar in Cervet. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Who made it? Shit. I'm going to get you guys. Fuck this on. There's a fuck. Just keep shooting. What the hell does it look like I'm doing? Keep moving. Get inside. Give it a go, boys. <laughs> Get inside, Scaletta. You're gonna die. I'm gonna chase you. I'm gonna have to chase you. I'm gonna chase you. Hold that, you boss. Now you are dead. Bye. See that gun on the balcony, Scaletta? I'm back to the balcony. Let's go. Get on that machine gun. That's our ball. Balcony Scaletta, get on it! It's back down inside! We're fucked! Oh shit, we got our artillery! Get inside! Now! Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Ho oh, sparato, Becciotti! Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da fare! Repi davvero, Don Calò? Questo è finito! Cacetto! Un congè quando si amareta come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? No, amici, no. Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ce rendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? because he told them to.
A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth. You miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. Shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate read? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Pat himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Uh, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I going to pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Come on, Friday, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hey, 
Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hey, Vito, look who's man. back. Go, go. You're looking pretty good for a guy who just got shot. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back.